Okay, let's understand this cardinal number system of the Yakan language. Cardinal numbers, remember, cardinal numbers, keep that in mind, okay? Um, because also understand the fact that Yakan is more of a um, agglutinative. It's more agglutinative than most other um, most other Philippine languages in the main, I guess, in the main islands that you'll hear. It's as agglutinative as Ilocano is. Ilocano does a lot of agglutination with its language, right? Yakan does this a lot too, okay? So, and remember, Yakan isn't a Visayan language. It is a Samabajau language. So it has different characteristics than what you would see in, in um, Visayan languages and yeah. Anyway, the number one, the, the first number is number one in the cardinal numbers, right? And you can either say uh, dembua or isa, okay? Remember, there are two vowels, right? So we treat it kind of like a geminate consonant, um, a gemina consonant gemination, right? Isa, okay? Isa or dembua. Number two is due, right? Due. Three is again with that gemination, telu, right? Telu. Four is ampat. It's similar to the Malay, ampat, right? Ampat. So it's ampat. Five is lime, right? Lime. Um, it's similar to lima, but it's lime, that e at the end, okay? Remember. Six is enem, right? Enem. Seven, pitu. Eight, walu. Nine, siam. And ten, sempu. With these endings here, like pitu, walu, right, they're going to have the glottal stop, so don't forget to cut off the air at the end, okay? Pitu, walu, siam, sempu, okay? Sempu, which is 10. I underlined this pu and I semi-underlined this m, right, because they're, you're going to see a pattern later on, and this is what I mean by the agglutination stuff, okay? From 11 to 20, we have... Uh, sempuk, <clears throat> sempuk dembua, right? From sempu, we get sempuk dembua, which is one. So ten and one. And how did we get that, um, that k at the end is actually short for duk, okay? Duk. And duk in the Yakan language means and, okay? So ten and one. Sempu, duk, dembua, right? Sempuk, duk. Dembua, 10 and 1. But we know it as 11. So, sempuk dembua, sempuk due. Okay, and 12 is sempuk due, which is again 10 and 1, or I'm sorry, 10 and 2, which 2 here is due. 10 again is sempu plus the duk, right? Which we get sempuk with that k at the end of a pu. Sempuk due, sempuk telu, sempuk ampat, sempuk lime. Sempuk enem, sempuk pitu, sempuk walu, sempuk siam, and 20 we get <coughs> duempu. Okay, duempu. This is what I mean with this semi underline and underline because you will see a pattern here. To say 20, we got number two, which is due, and the ending mpu, right? Mpu. Well, because it ends in a vowel, we get that mpu, right? Mpu. But if it doesn't end in a vowel, we just add pu, right? So for the number two, who want to make it 20, we get due, right? Duem pu. Telu for the number 30, since it ends in a vowel, telu, right? We have to put mpu, right? Telum pu. Telum pu. Ampat, which is four, if we want to get 40 out of this, we don't need to put the m. Mm, the M sound, the M, the Ma, we can just put Pu at the end and we get Ampat Pu. Ampat Pu. Right? And the same goes with the rest. Lime, Lime, Limem Pu. Enem, Enem Pu. Pitu, Pitu Pu. Right? Okay? So, it's um, actually with Pitu, it's with the M, right? Because it's a vowel. Oh, shoot. It's with a vowel. So, we get Pitum Pu. Walumpu, okay, walumpu, and we get siampu, right? But for 100, it's dahatus, right? Dahatus, right here. Dahatus. And it's just that easy. Even if you want to say with the rest of these, it's just duk, 
and then whatever number, right? So you can add it on with and, duk, um, and just continue on as it is, right? So if I, if I want to say 22, I would say duempu plus the duk, we get duempuk, right? Duempuk. <clears throat> and then uh, wherever 22 is, is uh, due two, right? Due. So duempuk due is 22. The same goes with everything else. It's just that easy, and it probably is one of the more easier ones than other Philippine languages.